regarding this idea of reconciling in a way that glorifies God. Like you talk about that Peacemaker Ministries talks about this idea of glorifying God in how you seek peace. What does that mean? What does that even look like? You know, when I, when I was younger in ministry, this was one of the things that Ken Sandy taught me. And it was like, whatever you do, whether you eat or drink, do all for the glory of God, right? And I'm, I, I'd, I would think about like, what does that actually mean? Like, so I yeah. actually wrote a list and it was easier to come up with a list of things that would not glorify God. Right? So I'd made a list of things that would not glorify God. Hmm. And then I thought of the opposite of those things. And it doesn't work always, but it, it can help you. So like, instead of name calling, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use words of affirmation. Hmm. Instead of uh, defeat, victim mentality thinking, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have faith-filled um, biblical thinking. You know, and, and thinking through those things, um, instead of allowing my thoughts and my emotions to control my leadership, I'm gonna allow God's principles and attitudes to control my leadership. Um, so that's, that's number one. Number two, like if you think about other verses that often talk, talk about um, who can bring a charge against God's elect. I find this in pastors all the time. Mm-hmm. It's God who justifies. Yet when you, when you talk to a pastor, they'll oftentimes begin to say, well, it's my leadership. It's my name. It's my whatever. And, and, and they don't mean it. Like they, they have the, the theological understanding that that's not true. But the practical understanding of bringing glory to God, they, they get stuck on that. Yeah. And I'm like, wait, who can bring a charge against you? Because when you're in leadership, people bring charges, right? Right. And a, a lot of them are unfounded, you know, or without grace, one of the two. The essence of saying, you know what, God, when I stand before you, is this going to be acceptable or unacceptable behavior, attitudes, leadership, whatever? And I'm saved, and, you're, and, and whoever's out there is saved only because of Jesus Christ, period. It's not going to be, were you an excellent leader? Did you, did you not make any mistakes as a leader? You know, it, you are saved because of Jesus and that alone. And yet when we put our hope into those other area, areas, we, we stop glorifying God in that moment. You know, we start, start glorifying ourselves and we can back up and say, Lord, I can rest in you and I can allow you to, to be glorified in this moment.